Mayor John Bell Edwards made an appearance in New Orleans this morning to unveil a new transportation addition to the state. Alyssa Curtis was at the Amtrak station and has more on how you'll be able to get from here to the state's capital more quickly. Instead of sitting in traffic and making that hourish drive from New Orleans to Baton Rouge and then another hour back, you'll soon be able to just hop on an Amtrak. The new round trip line was revealed Thursday with leaders calling it historic. All aboard! Governor John Bell Edwards, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell, and other state leaders put pen to paper, making a new passenger rail service in the state official. The inner city line will connect New Orleans to the state's capital, Baton Rouge, starting in 2027. They'll start with one round trip a day and expand as ridership increases. Governor Edwards says it's a project that's been in the works since 2008. The route is expected to eventually have stops throughout the state, including in Gonzales, Laplace, and Jefferson Parish. Leaders say it's time to invest in alternative forms of transportation. We believe that there are tremendous benefits uh, from having a safe and reliable uh, transit service rail between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. We will obviously parallel Interstate 10, get vehicles off of 10, help with congestion, but also help uh, with the environment. And then the economic development that's going to happen along that route in close proximity to uh, the stations. So we know that we're on the front lines of climate that has already changed. So climate adaptation is something that has to be a priority. We bake that into the future of this city, being able to utilize rail in a, in a way, again, that saves us money on the back end. So the investments happening now are being very intentional. They're also working to get service to Mobile, Alabama. The price of the tickets have not yet been determined, but they're hoping to have that number soon. Reporting at Amtrak in New Orleans, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News.